Talk to us about this discount. Quarter of a billion dollars. That much? Yeah, that's, it's really not that much. Um, I think Yahoo's shareholders are going to walk away from this uh, fairly happy because, look, they, there was a risk that Verizon might walk away from the entire deal altogether. And, and, and the, the game that's been going on over the past few months has really been who has more to lose here? Uh, and I think Yahoo has more to lose. If Yahoo didn't get the sale done, they would have been in a very difficult position. They would probably have to rerun that sales auction that people may remember took months and months and months. And they probably would not have gotten as high of a price because Verizon was the obvious buyer here with the most synergies to offer. So I think Yahoo's got to walk away from this saying, you know what, given everything that we know, we're pretty happy with only a discount of $250 million. That number may change, could go up a little bit, but it's going to be in that ballpark from what we hear. Alex, I, I actually spoke to the CEO of AOL, Tim Armstrong, just last week, and it did seem that the desire was really there to get their hands on Yahoo and its consumers. Have a just quick listen to what he said last week. I'm hopeful the deal closes. I think we really have a high appreciation for Yahoo overall. We just wouldn't need to figure out whether or not there's been value changes, um, you know, based on the breaches. That's really how simple it is. The value change has clearly been negotiated now. And what about the next steps of both Altaba that is left out of the Yahoo business and indeed where Verizon pushes now with Yahoo consumers? Right. So you got the reason just there from Tim Armstrong about why Verizon was willing to accept such a low discount there. They want Yahoo and feel like they can put AOL and Yahoo together. And part of why they want Yahoo is so they can move on to whatever else is next for Verizon. We've already reported that there was a conversation between Verizon CEO Lowell McAdam and Liberty Media CEO Greg Maffei potentially about doing a massive deal for charter communications. We don't know if that's going to happen. It was very preliminary. But we do know that Verizon is looking at 10 to 12 acquisitions of size after Yahoo. So getting this deal done allows them to move on to whatever else is next. And you'd have to think that there's a very high likelihood that that could be a much bigger deal than Yahoo. On the other side, really Yahoo's internet business is only a small fraction of the larger now Altaba company, as you mentioned, which is Yahoo Japan and Alibaba. So from Yahoo's standpoint, they too are sort of willing to accept a discounted price here, not only to finally get a, a buyer for their property, but also so that they can monetize Yahoo Japan and Alibaba, which is really the crux of Yahoo and now that's what they need to figure out. Is someone going to buy this stuff from them? Is it going to be SoftBank? Is it going to be Alibaba? Are they going to trade for a while as a stub? All those are still outstanding questions.